And remember folks, especially you guys out there, size matters when it comes to chainsaws. Hey everybody, Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna talk about uh, why I run a longer bar on my chainsaw. So let's get right into it. Whoever tells you size doesn't matter needs to watch this video. <laughs> you don't know how long it took me to film that intro, but <laughs> I'm trying to laugh. Anyways, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Jay here. Um, we got a very cool video for you today. Um, I'm gonna talk about why um, I run a 28 inch bar on my Husqvarna chainsaw. So yeah, <laughs> that's what we're gonna get into today. So let's get uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, everybody, let's hop right into it. So. This is a Husky 257. This is Wayne's saw I got uh, for free from my good buddy Wayne. The reason why I put a 28 inch bar on it, um, it's not because we're cutting down 28 inch, you know, trees. It's just, this is my strictly my bucking saw. Now, as you can see, I'm in a nice comfortable position where literally the bar of this chain reaches pretty much ground level. So I don't have to bend over, get real close to the log. Oh, I can stay, I can stay up, stand up tall and buck the logs up and we're going to demonstrate that in a second but my point is is that i didn't invent this i'm just trying to help you out even if i help out one person uh, with this video i'm happy so again this is the there's pros and cons before we get to actually cutting i'm going to i'm going to talk for a minute there's pros and cons between running a longer bar um the pro is there's less bending over it, it's more it's easier to buck logs the, i would say a con is it's tough to fell. The longer bar you have, it's tough to fell. As you can see around here, we have a lot of smaller diameter trees. We don't have redwoods out here in New Hampshire. So again, a 28 inch bar, you know, I'm a strong kid. It gets heavy after a day of cutting. So this is my designated bucking saw. I use my other saws, my 590 and my 490 Echo to actually fall trees. So those are just two pros and cons, but yeah, the proof is in the pudding, so let's go ahead and start the saw up and buck this up. And I want you to pay attention to my posture. Um, how often do I bend down, if I bend down at all. Just pay attention to my physique and how easy it is. And if you have an extra chainsaw that's with, it's above probably 50-something cc's, I would definitely recommend putting a longer bar in it. So yeah, enough chit-chat. Let's get right into it. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, <laughs> I just realized I had two pairs of glasses on. I probably look like an idiot. <laughs> but anyways, um, appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Running along a bar is so, yes, I'm sweaty, but it's just so much more easier. You don't have to move your hands as much. You're literally just moving almost your whole body. You're moving as literally one unit. You're not doing this whole monkey thing um, with a shorter bar. So yes, tell your wife, size matters and you need a longer bar. <laughs> Oh, I'm having too much fun out here. Anyways, appreciate you guys tuning in. We're going to clean up all this stuff, throw it in the wheelbarrow. I mean, throw it in the four-wheeler and bring it back to the homestead. So, yeah, appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we'll see you later. Remember, folks, especially you guys out there, size matters when it comes to chainsaws.